I wanted to go with something else. I did want to go with the uh, the whole lot of love Led Zeppelin tone on this one instead. We can just change it out. And now... Tone Bridge is a very cool way to get some very cool guitar sounds. Now, the guitar amp sims here in GarageBand are epic, and they do a great job. They punch above their weight, in my opinion. But if you want a whole bunch more flexibility, then Tone Bridge is where it's at. And using Tone Bridge here in GarageBand on your iPhone or iPad could not be simpler. All we need to do is create a new audio track, add Tone Bridge to it, select the sort of tone that we want, and we're off to the races. So I have myself a backing track here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to remove some of these lead parts because we're going to re-record some of these with Tone Bridge. So at the moment, we've just got a bit of a bass track here. We'll bring the bass up here, tap and drag it, put it under our drums. We've got Darcy on drums. We've got some rich harmonics here just using the GarageBand amp, and it sounds like this. <laughs> You want to hit the plus button here. Now, the key to this is you don't want to add a guitar amp sim. So we're not going to go into guitar here in GarageBand. We're actually going to go into the voice recorder, the audio recorder. Because what we want to do is we're going to go to more sounds. We want to go to fun because apparently our clean is under fun. So we're going to tap on clean here. And now what we want to actually do is add in a, uh, we want to add in a plugin. Here we go. I want to add in a plugin, which is our tone bridge. Now, there are two ways to do this. You saw I went in and tried to do it the wrong, the wrong, the other way, which is you can add interrupt audio here, and you can add an interrupt audio effect here, and add tone bridge in here as an interrupt audio effect. The reason I don't do that is that once you do that and you record into it, you can't then adjust the tone. So if you're really confident with the tone you want to go with, you can use it as an interrupt audio effect. The other problem is that uh, Apple have said that they're deprecating or removing interrupt audio sometime in the future. They haven't said when, but we might as well get used to this. But the cool thing is, Tone Bridge, what we can actually do with it is use it right here in our plugins and EQ. So at the moment, if we set this up for our guitar, what we need to do is go to channel and go channel two and turn our monitoring on and we should get our slightly out of tune guitar playing through there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but what we can now do is if we go to our plugins and EQ here, we can actually go to edit and we're going to hit the plus button here. And under our audio unit extensions, if we scroll on down, we're going to be able to find Tone Bridge. And then we're going to throw Tone Bridge. Now, Tone Bridge is made by the same folks who make Ultimate Guitar. So if you're a uh, if you're a busker or an acoustic guitar hack like myself, you've probably used Ultimate Guitar to find out how to play uh, tabs or chords of your favourite songs. And the cool thing is, it actually integrates with that. So if you're on if you're uh, playing a song on Ultimate Guitar and then you come into Tone Bridge, it'll actually tell you which tone. So it'll say, yeah, go look for this tone because this is the tone in Tone Bridge. Here's why it's cool. We can actually search out any band and any song and the community has actually created a bunch of tones that sound exactly like that. So I have a live from Pearl Jam. This is the tone that... I nearly played the actual riff, but I can't do that because copyright. So you can change a few things around here. You can change the effect. So this knob here, you can get more of the effect in there and you can get more volume. So just like you would on a regular pedal, if you turn up the effect and turn down the volume, you get kind of a little bit more gain and then you can really get into... But the cool thing is, we turn that off for a moment, and you can, uh, that prevent feedback button's pretty important to have on there. What we can do here is that you can actually search out uh, any other tone that you may want to put in here. So uh, if, you're, if you're a big fan of, say, the Foo Fighters, which I am, and we want to find a Foo Fighters to tone, let's search Foo Fighters and see what we got. So Everlong, yeah. Everlong from Foo Fighters. This is a classic tone, right? And it will always put it right down the middle here. So you will have to play with the effect and the volume, but um, we'll... Uh So that's our ever long tone. And again, if we can turn the effect up a bit, we're going to get a little bit more of a... So you can get some cool tones here. And uh, what, what's something a really sort of out there? So if we come in here and we go with this tone. Yeah, so now we're going to get more of a... See so how you got that more sort of slap back kind of thing there? Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's what we're going with there. So if we come in here. All 
All right, we got requests for Rush and Led Zeppelin. So yeah, there's there's a couple of good ones. So uh, I can't spell the word Zeppelin. If we just type Led Zepp, is that going to... Oh, look, it's going to pre-populate it. Everyone's searching for Led Zepp. So we'll come in here to Led Zeppelin. <laughs> what about... I won't do that one. Uh, yeah, what about the uh, the old uh, Whole lot of Love? And again, I can't play the actual riff. <laughs> And yeah, Rush. What about we'll get a bit of a Tom Sawyer tone going on here, shall we? Uh, where's Rush? Do 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 do. Rush. Uh, there you go. Uh, oh, we don't have. What have we got? Yeah, there's our there's our Tom Sawyer tone. So the the intro to Tom Sawyer. <laughs> So um, you can see how much fun you can have with this, yeah? You can come in here and you can play at different tones to your heart's content. So uh, money for nothing, yeah, let's let's, let's go with uh, money for nothing. Sorry, I'm just, I'm going with uh, with what point? The net, ne, 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 ne. There you go. You can see that the search suggestions, a lot of people search for these sort of things. Uh, so the main riff of, uh, of money for nothing, let's just see what uh, it gives us here. Um, and the cool thing is, if you explore Tonebridge, it's not just the tones that you search for here. You can go into the actual app, you can create all of your other tones as well. So you can add to them and you can like go into the workshop basically and build out your own tone. We'll turn this up a little bit. Let's just see if we can play along with this original one. All right, let's just uh, record something in here with uh, with this Tonebridge, just so that you can see how it works when you record it. <laughs> <laughs> that'll have to do all right so we'll go out of there we'll take that one off we will uh, come out of here and as you can see here all that's happened is that we've recorded just your regular sound there let's just turn the monitoring off so that we're not hearing that crunchiness in the background so it is just so if we turn off tone bridge see over here if we just turn this off and hit play it's literally a clean sound as soon as we turn tone bridge back on And the beauty part is the reason I said use your AU plugin instead of Interap Audio is if we're not happy with that tone now and we're like, no, actually, I did, I wanted to go with something else. I did want to go with the uh, the whole lot of love Led Zeppelin tone on this one instead. We can just change it out. And now... We're like, no, nah, that's a little bit too harsh. We want something a little bit smoother. Let's go with the Tom Sawyer tone. There you go. Uh, so Tonebridge for the win. It is a uh, it is a great great way to uh, to add some unique guitar tones. Even though you're kind of copying them from other bands, uh, you can create a unique combination of tones right here in GarageBand with Tonebridge.